The storm that is bringing all of this mess to us actually stretches from the deep south to New England. Strong storms have already swept across the Midwest and spawned tornadoes in some states. 11 people have been killed so far. Kim Gable is live with video from that storm system now. Kim. And Susan, folks here in the Pittsburgh area just dealing with some rain right now, not really impacting traffic at all here along the Parkway West. But for other folks across the country, we are talking about widespread damage and 10 tornadoes confirmed so far, which is really a rare outbreak so late in the season. Edwards, Mississippi. Drone footage shows the damage to homes and trees after a tornado touchdown. One of 11 twisters reported throughout the state by mid-afternoon Monday. Power lines snapped, electricity out to thousands of residents. Alexandria, Louisiana. A school ripped to pieces by a tornado that was on the ground for 63 miles. It's the same one that killed a person trapped inside their home in Vernon Parish, 50 miles west of the school. To the north, in Webster, twisted metal and scraps of wood after another tornado tore through that community. All spawned from one storm system that began swirling in the Rocky Mountains and moved east over the weekend. On Sunday, hard driving snow causing havoc on Missouri highways and parts of Kansas City were covered nine inches deep, leaving a trail of stranded cars on icy highways that became impassable. Bob Beckert is with the Missouri Department of Transportation. So we will be out there with our 200 plus trucks all day, plowing snow as it comes along. But there will be some snow getting on the roadway. There will be some slick spots. That's our biggest concern. This four vehicle crash left three dead near Greenwood, Nebraska. Farther east in Macomb, Illinois, heavy blinding snow caused a car to careen onto the railroad tracks. The vehicle then struck by a freight train passing through. A second wave of snowstorms that barreled through the St. Louis area has already caused several accidents there. So really, when you look at the scope and magnitude of all of this, from Missouri all the way up to Maine, about 25 million Americans facing some type of weather alert. We are live tonight. Kim Gable, KDKA News.